What does that mean then when we are saying that the economic rent should be lower than the total production of the Ethereum system, for example? Or the staking returns should be much lower than the total value provided by the ecosystem? If this is the answer that we want to get, this is the outcome that we're looking for, in all of these incentive mechanisms, we have to prioritize the incentive towards value creation, value production, than just giving returns to token stakers. And that is how we can create a more robust system that doesn't just focus on growing the staking returns or APYs. So yield farming is really one of the tools. Yield farming is not just growth creation and community building, but it is part of these returns to the rent agreement by your entire ecosystem to these different asset holders, which are your token holders. So in short, when we are looking at creating incentive mechanisms and token economics design or economics design within your ecosystem, we have to think about growing the pie, then just splitting the pie to these token holders. Hope that helps and have fun creating your own ecosystem and the economic policies surrounding your ecosystem. Music